In this tip I'd like to demonstrate how we can give ourselves ultimate control over how we trim our weldment features making use of cut features. Let's first look at the end joint and this space frame. What I'm going to do is select the end of my horizontal tube and once I've selected the end of that tube I can go ahead and select sketch. Next I'll convert the entities and then simply select features and select cut extrude. I'm now going to select a mid-plane extrude and making sure that that cut extrude will travel through both my upper and lower support tubes I can then unselect auto select bodies. I'll now simply select the two bodies that I would like to trim and then select OK. By doing this I've perfectly trimmed my upper and lower support tube to my central horizontal support tube. Now lastly I can select the end of my short stubby tube again select sketch and then select convert entities. I'll select cut extrude make sure my cut extrude completely travels through all of the bodies I'd like to cut. If I'd like I could even select through all to make sure any updates will maintain my design parameters. And then I can go ahead and unselect auto select bodies. Again I'll select the bodies I would like to trim and select OK. And now we can see that we've perfectly trimmed all three tubes to our short tube that we'd like to trim to. This is a very simple way for creating trims. Now, when we get to the case of this joint down here, we can't simply use a cut extrude because it's in the center of a bend from our weldment profile. So instead what I'm going to do is go to the end of that tube, select it, and again select sketch make use of the same technique by converting the entities. However this time I'll select features. I'm sorry I'm going to need to exit my sketch first. Then under features I can select a swept cut. I'll select my new sketch as the profile and then I'll select the sketch used to create that weldment profile as my center line. Again, unselect auto select bodies and select the tubes that you would like to have trimmed. With the tube selected, select OK. And there again, we've done a nice job of trimming each of our tubes. Now I've purposely selected this swept cut first to show that when we're making use of this technique we do have to bear in mind that the order in which we do it is important. The reason being is this tube should have been trimmed to our upper roll hoop and we've made our life slightly more difficult by trimming the end of our roll hoop first. Had we trimmed using the roll hoop previously I would have had a flat face on the bottom of my roll hoop to convert entities and create my sketch. I just point that out to let you know that when we make use of this technique you do need to keep in mind the order in which you're creating our tr your trims to get the best quality and to save yourself the most amount of time. Well I hope this tip was a help. Thank you.